Okay, now using those techniques that we've went over, we're going to multiply these fractions together. And remember, we're going to try to simplify as much as we can um, before we actually multiply them. It makes it a little bit easier at the end. Okay, so right now we have 8 over 5 times 15 over 32. So I notice that the 8 and the 32 have something in common that we could divide out. 8 will go into 8 one time, and 8 goes into 32 four times. And then I also notice that the 5 and the 15 have something in common. 5 will go into 5 one time, and 5 will go into 15 three times. So now I can multiply what I have left on top, which is 1 times 3, and that would be 3. And on bottom, in the denominator, I have 1 times 4, which would be 4. So my fraction in lowest terms would be 3 fourths. The next one here, oops, went up too high, didn't I? The next one here, again, we're going to look to see if there's anything that we can cancel first before we start multiplying. So I noticed that the 11 and the 22 both have an 11 in common. 11 goes into 11 once. 11 goes into 22 twice. Now, I can't do anything else. Uh, 2 and 9 don't have anything in common. 9 and 16 don't have anything in common. So I just have to multiply what I have left. I have 9 times 1, which is 9, over 2 times 16, which would be 32. So my answer would be 9 over 32. Now we can use these same concepts even as we get larger and larger um, items. You know, we, we can multiply any number of things that we want to together. We just have to keep that same concept going. So in looking here, even though I have three numerators and three denominators, any numerator is eligible to be canceled with any denominator. So as I look through here, the first thing that I notice is the 15 and the 35 because they're both multiples of 5. 5 will go into 15 three times and 5 will go into 35 seven times. Now, we have to look and see what else we can do. And I notice again that 3 and 27 have a 3 in common. 3 will go into 3 one time, and 3 will go into 27 nine times. Now, we're still not done, because I noticed the 9 and the 72 have something in common. 9 will go into 9 one time, and 9 will go into 72 eight times. 9 times 8 is 72. And now we can continue looking the 32 and the 64 have something in common. They're actually both divisible by 32. 32 goes into here once, and 32 goes into 64 two times. Now, my remaining numerators are 7, 1, and 1. My remaining denominators are 2, 1, and 8. Nothing now will um, cancel with each other. So now we're ready just to multiply straight across and straight across. 7 times 1 times 1 would be 7, and 2 times 1 times 8 would be 16. So our final answer here would be 7 over 16.